guys welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series a couple of weeks ago i promised you all that i was going to share some of my plant-based and vegan recipes with all of you and this is me keeping my promise today i'm going to share a simple rice stir fry that's perfect for either lunch or breakfast it's packed loaded with vegetables and it's made with just a few simple ingredients so i'm excited to share how this one is made because this is one recipe that i've been enjoying since I started enjoying uh, my plant, since I went on my plant-based diet journey. Before we go into the cooking action, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now is the time to hit that subscribe button and the bell just right beside it so you can get instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you like this video after watching it, please kindly give us a thumbs up because I love to see all your likes. They keep me super encouraged and keep my creative juices flowing. All right guys, now we can go into the cooking action. For this vegan friendly rice recipe, you need some washed rice, mixed vegetables, chopped onions, pepper, garlic, some mushrooms, light and dark soy sauce, vegetable oil, and some salt to taste. The full ingredient list will be in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out, okay? Now to cook the rice, add some vegetable stock into a pot and bring to a rolling boil. I have a video showing how I make my vegetable stock from scratch. I'll put the link in the description box down below so you can check it out, okay? Sprinkle a good amount of salt and then add the washed rice. I am cooking two cups of basmati rice in two and a half cups of vegetable stock. Mix to combine, cover the pots and allow to cook on low heat till tender. Meanwhile, start with the vegetable sauce. Add some vegetable oil in the pan and allow to heat up slightly. Then add the chopped onions and stir fry for a few seconds. Next. Add the garlic and chopped peppers and stir fry for a further 10 seconds. Afterwards, add the diced carrots and stir fry till slightly softened before adding the mushrooms. If you aren't vegan and you love your meat, now would be a very good time to add any cooked meat of your choice, preferably some chicken breast chunks, but ensure it is cooked before you add it at this point, okay? Stir fry for another two minutes, then add the other vegetables. I'm using some sweet corn, some diced green and red bell peppers, peas, and some spring onions. Mix to combine, then add the soy sauce. Afterwards, add the cooked rice, stir to combine, ensuring that each grain of rice is fully coated with the sauce. exactly what the color should look like all that's left now is serve it on the plates and enjoy now you can enjoy this with some fried plantains or grilled plantains or with a nice pepper sauce guys the aroma in my kitchen is heavenly this meal does it for me it's colorful looks pretty texture is perfect aroma is amazing i'm about to give it a taste even though i already know what it tastes like and just in case you're not vegan or you don't really care about a plant-based diet and you still love to enjoy your meat of course you can add whatever protein of choice you like to this chicken breast chicken thighs whatever it is works perfectly well but hey my plant-based and vegan diet family this is for you. <laughs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. You guys, what actually excites me about this recipe is the fact that it literally takes all of 20 to 30 minutes to create if you know exactly what you're doing. And that includes chopping up the vegetables, the time for chopping up the vegetables, for boiling the rice and whatnot. And of course, remember to use your vegetable stock to boil the rice to help amplify the flavor of the dish. All right, guys, if you've been regretting this recipe, please kindly take pictures and upload on your Instagram and Facebook stories and tag me at Delicious Foods so that I can repost on my stories and tag 
you guys as well for the whole world to see. It always makes me so happy whenever I see all of your creations. Alright guys, I'll see you next time with another mouthwatery and delicious recipe. On the end, remember to very kind to one another, love yourself generously, and it's me, the queen of fun and fast cooking, signing out right now. I love you all. Mwah.